Hey, what's going on, good people? Armand Owens here once again with another episode of The Unsung Leader. And as you can see, had to change up the view just a little bit, all right? But um, had some technical difficulties with my recording instruments, so had to delay just a little bit, but that's how it goes. And here I am with another video talking about leadership. And today I want to talk just a little bit about this is probably one of the the greatest indicators for you now as a leader to let you know how you're going to do right um if you can't navigate this thing the right way it's going to be very very hard for you to be the leader that you want to be right and it's the confronting of the leader that you want to be seen as versus who you really are I'm going to say that again for the people in the back. The leader that you want to be seen as versus the person that you actually are. I remember taking over uh, as a young leader, thrust into the leadership position as a young E5. Now, my department head was fed up with my chief. So he pulls me into a state room and says, you are now the leader of this division. He's going to be doing other things. You're going to run it. You're running day to day. Everybody answers to you. Don't mess it up. What? <laughs> Talk about being overwhelmed. Talk about being overwhelmed. I had, I had not even delved into leadership at that point in my career. Um, I was more concerned about doing what, what I, taking care of my rice bowl, taking care of my piece of the puzzle and departing from that ship just doing what i needed to do you know just to go home and now i'm being put in this position to be a leader and it's it was it was quite daunting uh, to say the least you know but i uh I, I looked at some of the leaders that i consider to be good leaders tried to take their characteristics their attributes and their posture tried to emulate them because i wanted nothing more than to be seen as a great leader. But the problem for me was at that point, I was unwilling to do the work necessary to, leg to legitimately become that good leader. I only wanted to be seen as a good leader. So I would do things to mask my inabilities. So if there was a, a challenge that came my way from somebody in my division, I would yell. I would go off. I would degrade the person in an effort to cover up my own insecurities, my own incompetence, because they asked me a legitimate question that I didn't even have an answer to. But because I wanted to be seen as a good leader, vice legitimately being a good leader, I messed this thing up 17 ways from Sunday, whatever that, whatever that means. If it means that I messed it up badly, that's what I did. I messed it up extremely badly. And uh, so I would make all these gestures. I would do all of this theatrics just to be seen as a good leader and not ever take ownership of my own incompetence, my own insecurities uh, and my own incongruencies. I never took ownership of those things in that first, you know, kind of six months to a year as I was thrust into that position. And I realized that I was just I was just playing a game of leadership. I was just playing what I thought leadership looked like. And so many of us end up doing that because we're not we're not properly trained to get to that point. It's like, hey, you do well at your job, so therefore we're gonna make you the leader. And we do our best theatrical performance of leaders rather than legitimately doing the work to become leaders. And that was my problem. That was my biggest problem. I wanted to, just to be seen as a leader, but I didn't want I didn't want to do the work necessary. So how does that how does that affect the, the people that you have the privilege of leading? Well, it, it, there's so many cracks in your foundation. So many cracks in your foundation as a leader that at some point that house will come tumbling down. It will come tumbling down. And that's what ended up happening. I in an effort to try to be the leader that I thought they wanted me to be and wanted to be seen as a leader, it all culminated at a, a very contentious point where as we were preparing for deployment, we weren't ready. We weren't ready with the things that we were supposed to bring to the table. And 
because I wanted to be seen as a leader. I, you know, I would, I would lie. I would tell my department here, yeah, everything is, is, is taken care of. When no, everything is not taken care of at all. But I did not want to be seen as a bad leader. I wanted to be seen as a good leader when, nah, Jack, none of those things were present. So how do you handle this? Well, first, first, first and foremost, you got to be honest with yourself. Recognize, hey, you got to know what you don't know. Acknowledge what you don't know. Because in an effort to, to be seen as a leader, you come across supremely inauthentic. And there's nothing that's going to turn your people away quicker than inauthenticity. When you put on a mask, you're not giving the people legitimately, legitimately who you actually are. You're just giving them a, you know, a facade and people pick up on that and people don't want to follow that. So you got to be honest with yourself and be honest with your people as well. Hey, I, this, I'm new at this. I don't know what I don't know. And, and when I find out that I don't know it, I'll communicate with you. But we got to do this together. <laughs> we got to do this together. I need you just as much as you need me. So therefore, let's do this together. Let's put aside the, you know, the, the, the position, right? And let's focus on the purpose, right? Because the, the position is irrelevant. It's all about the purpose, the goal. What are we shooting towards? And let's do this together. Because as much as we think that being honest with people and letting them know that we have flaws, um, we believe that that's somehow is going to, going to deter people from wanting to follow us when in actuality, it's not the case. Being authentic and real lets people know, oh, okay, this is who this person is. And they're not afraid of being transparent. They're not afraid of acknowledging what they don't know. Not afraid of acknowledging that guess what? They are a person. And they're not overcome by their relationship with perfection because perfection is not a real thing. We are all just flawed people doing the best that we can to lead other flawed people. But it's the acknowledgement of our flaws that allow us to confront those things and overcome those things and learn how to fill those gaps. All right. Number two, you got to double down on your strengths. What are you strongest at? What are you actually legitimately good at? Right. Because in the beginning, at the start of this thing, you got to double down on what you're good at. All right. If it's if it's admin, double down on that. Be awesome in that. And and delegate and utilize the talents and abilities and the collaborative brilliance of your team to close the gap All right but know what you know be be strong in what you know double down on your strengths All right and finally have the presence of mind to ask for help have the presence of mind to ask for help because there are other people that have been doing this way longer than you, that have more experience, they're way wiser than you are, and they will help you accelerate your leadership growth. <laughs> That's what I, that was the hardest thing that I had to do was ask for help. I had to learn to ask for help. Because for me, it was like, hey, I want to be seen as a leader that can do this thing by myself. Because that's what I thought. That's what a leader was when, nah, Jack, the goal is to accomplish the mission. The goal is to get to the goal. <laughs> Doesn't matter who gets the credit. Doesn't matter who, who runs through the finish line first. What matters is who gets there, right? And it's way more fun if you get there as a team. So don't get caught up in trying to be seen as a leader. Do the work that's necessary to legitimately become the leader you know your people know they need. All right, it's great talking to you. As always, like, share, give me feedback. Let me know what you think. I appreciate the feedback so far. Um, if there's a topic that you want me to talk about, a leadership topic that you want, to, want me to talk about, please put it in the comments and I'll be back at it next Friday. Well, this Friday coming up, cause yeah, on Sun Leader out. Oh.